This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, today with respect to Cypress series, uh, we have come up with a really good topic that is to, that is what like how to do a house over. And uh, just like we have actions classes in Selenium and you have moved to element method and built or perform method is available. Okay. Uh, we have different thing over, over here in Cypress. So the scenario is, let's see, this is a spicejet.com. And the one scenario is, let's say this is a parent menu, and then this is the sub menu, and then we have uh, you have to mouse over on this particular element, and then the sub Spice Club members will be visible, and then you have to click on either member login or sign up. Okay, so these are the two tests. Okay, let's see, we will write. So first, you click on let's see, login, sign up, mouse over on a Spice Club members, and then member login. So this is called the level one, level two, and level three. So three level of parent and child menu sub menus are available like that. So how to do this? Similarly, if you really let's see, we'll go to add-ons, and then you can select a specific value over here. So you have to mouse over, then only you can do that. And this is not a drop-down list or something, right? So if you really want to click on sign up or member login, you have to make them visible first, right? So how to do this? So for doing this, what we have to do that. Uh, I've already okay written describe it and first let's see I'm going to write a uh, click on I would say sign up uh, link test okay and then quickly I'll write cy dot uh, visit over here and uh, I quickly launch my spicejet.com okay spicejet.com and uh, then I simply say that okay cy dot contains contains what I just inspect this guy, login sign up. And uh, I just copy paste. This is a link. So if it contains login sign up, then you have to click on it. So simple dot what? Okay, no, you don't have to click on it, sorry. You have to mouse over. So for doing this, you simply use a trigger function. And then here you will get a lot of okay mouse events over here. See mouse down, mouse move, mouse out, mouse over. So I'm going to use mouse over. It means do a mouse over over there. So what will happen, it will come over here like this. And then the Spice Club members will be visible, this guy. Okay, then I'm going to inspect this guy. I'm going to take, uh, okay, let me just take the Spice Club members. And the same thing I'll be writing, cy dot uh, contains this one dot trigger with mouse over once again, like that, right? And then the sign up link will be visible. You see that, okay, then the sign up link will be visible. So I'll just now simple do a dot click. So here you don't need to mouse over. Now sign up is visible, you have to click on it. So how will you do that? I simply say that, okay, yeah, CY dot, if it contains, I'll put that, okay, yeah, this is a sign up and then dot click. That's it, right? So that's the only thing you have to like it. Now you just save it and then launch it is working or not. So that is my mouse over test.js is the file name. So let's run it and let's see if it's working or not. So yep, it's launching a file set. And uh, let's see. It's going to log in sign up or not. Yep. And then it's clicking on sign up, absolutely working fine. It's coming on the sign up page. Perfect, right? So this is simple, very simple thing that we have within it. So this is how we can do a trigger function. We can, I mean, mouse over trigger we can, okay, use and then simple use that. Now let's write one more test over here that, uh, let's see, I'll be writing similar test. And now this time, let me just uh, remove this guy and saying that, okay, instead of this sign up, we have to click on member login. So I inspect this guy, that exact text I'll pick from here. Let's see, member login. And uh, I say that okay, this is member login dot click, and this is member login link test. So let's see if it's working or not. Okay, so first it's going to sign up, perfect. Again, it's going to member login without any problems, right? So both the tests are working fine. Click on sign up link. Okay, this is typo. Sign up link test and member login test. So it's the very simple scenario, guys. You can simple use trigger event. I mean, mouse over event you can trigger with the help of trigger function, and then you can start using it like that. Okay, so this is the one thing. Then we have one more case. I actually doing some research, and uh, 
found a couple of things over there and then I'll show you one more use case. Let's this very simple scenario. Let's go to this particular site. Let's see my store automationpractice.com. I pretty much a lot of people they are using this particular website for automation practice point of view. The use case is C. Right now, let's see. Let me just refresh this particular page. The use case is just a second. Let me just close this. Okay, so right now your cart is empty. Okay, and come over here and then let's see. I'll just uh, go to add to cart. So simply click on add to cart. When you click on add to cart, uh, mm -hmm. this use case is that okay, yeah, this is visible. It be this particular popper will be visible, and then I'm going to click on this cross. When you cross it, you will see that okay, in your cart one product got added over here. But what you have to do, you have to mouse over on this particular cart product. Okay, so how to do that? You can use the same trigger event, but there is another way of also where we have to use invoke method. Also, we can use that. Okay, so this is a uh, I would say a trick or maybe uh, another uh, I would say the hack of doing this particular scenario. So let me just simple um, create one more, or we can write it over here. Okay, yeah, let's create one more in block. And I would say that okay, that uh, add to card test, but here I'll be using C by dot visit. I'll be using different URL. So yeah, this particular URL I'll be using it. Okay, and I don't want to take all these guys. So let's remove this. And I'm not going to execute this, so I can simply skip. And I can simply use dot skip for this guy also. I want to execute only this particular test. And uh, let me just okay. So when you come over here, what we have to do that uh, we have to let's see, click on this first add to card. So right click on it, go to inspect this guy. And uh, here, let's see what is there. So I'll say that okay, yeah, uh, we have one span add to card, but this uh, button edX add to card button. So I'll be picking this particular property. Let's see, edX add to card button. Okay. So okay. Let's copy this, and uh, I would say let's see, cy dot what cy dot uh, get, and I'll be sorry, I'll be using this dot this. Okay. And uh, after that, what do you have to do? See guys, with this thing. If you use this particular uh, search over here with this particular CSS, right, you are getting one of 41. So I have to reach to the first guy, right? Only to this particular guy. The first guy is, okay, it will give you the collection of 14. So remember that find method I told you, so I can use the find, okay? Or instead of find, you can simply write, let's see, first, first element, and then you click on it. So simple dot click, okay? First element dot click, like that. Okay, so this is fine. After that, I have to do one thing that when you click on it, it will click on add to cart and then uh, this popper will be visible. And then I'm going to inspect this particular cross. And here you see that, okay, span cross equal to cross is there. So I just want to verify that, okay, yeah, if the popper will be visible, I'm not going to verify any other thing. And I, okay, write that, okay, yeah, if, uh, because we know that, okay, cy dot uh, get will assert Internally, I simply say that okay, yeah, if this particular class is available, and then you simply do a dot click, it means just click on the cross button. It means the add to cart is done, and then you simply close it. Now, the real thing will start that okay, the cart is visible over here, okay, and product got added over here, right? And I'll do one thing that uh, let's put a little weight over here. So I simply write, let's see, by dot weight, and let's see for three seconds, okay. After that, I say that, okay, now see, this card, you uh, inspect this particular card. Okay, let's see something over here. And this card, you see that, okay, uh, it's coming under somewhere. Let me just check that, uh, okay, this is a shopping cart and uh, I'll just, okay, let me just, Okay, sorry about that. One second, let me just go back and see what I'm trying to say that uh, if you notice, right click on it, go to inspect this block, 
and uh, here you will see that uh, okay so this is a div class where the card block class is available it means this is the class for this guy if you see right that card okay this entire section okay is defined by this okay div class equal to card block so i'll do one thing i'll take this card block over here so right now it's not open right try to understand guys it's a little tricky what i'm saying is right now it's not open so we have to forcefully open it forcefully we have to show it so how we'll do that so we have a method that is called invoke method we have to use that so i say that okay hey cy dot uh, get which class that particular class okay cart underscore block and then first i'll write that okay it should be right now what is the condition it should be hidden so i'll simply write b dot hidden over here it should be hidden right yeah it's hidden so assertion will be passed yeah it is hidden right now right you can say that okay the display is is none property so style equal to display none property it means that this is not displayed over here right so i have to make it display now so what you have to do guys you simply do one thing this is dot invoke method you have to write and simple pass that okay yeah uh, show event you have to pass over here it means please show that it means just open that particular okay cart over here and when it is shown then you simply click on this okay uh, whatever the button that you want to click on it click on checkout button it's so you simply right click on it go to inspect and uh, here you see that okay yeah this is the uh, i can take that the button this id i can use it okay then you click on it so i simply say that okay fine see by dot uh, get i simply say for hash id is this and dot click okay like that okay and then click on it so what exactly it will do it will just click on checkout button right and then it should come over here on this particular page and on this particular page whatever you want to verify you can verify like the shopping cart somebody or you want to verify this uh, controller order also whatever you want to verify so let's say i just going to verify this uh, url contains controller order or not so that remember that we have already seen that's why i simply say that okay see by uh, dot url should i write one assertion over here that okay should what it should include include what include this controller order right so this is a simple test let's see i have written so i'll repeat once again first we have to click on the first element so i'll go to my go to this particular home page once again okay so we have to click on this add to cart once add to cart is visible then we will verify we will write an assertion like this that okay cy dot get internally it will assert that okay yeah if cross is available it means it is available okay product is successfully added to the shopping cart then only the pop-up will be visible and then you have to click on cross so let's see simply click on cross wait for three seconds okay fine you simply click on cross and right now the position of this guy is not visible you have to mouse over but i don't want to do a mouse over in that case i simply say that okay yeah card block should be hidden in work show so i simply use the property of that particular the property is class property and should be hidden yes right now it is hidden and invoke it and then you simply click on it so this is another way of doing it actually i was checking a lot of issues with respect to okay on their data page and some of the committee members they actually presented that okay yeah you can use invoke method over there so i tried and then it's absolutely working fine Okay, so now let's run it and let's see if it is working or not here. So the mouse over test underscore js, we will run it again. Let's see if it is working or not. So yeah, it's going to this. Okay, it's clicking on the first thing. Yeah, pop-up got closed. And now see, can you see that? Mouse over automatically done and it's clicking on the checkout and it's coming over here and my test got passed right i can show you once again let me run it again let's run it again and try to observe the thing guys okay so yep it should click on the first add to cart perfect pop up is visible automatically got closed and it's actually mouse over on that by using invoke show event and then it click on this and then coming on this particular page and product got added over there and the url is controller order perfect right like this now when i tried 
earlier it was not working let's see if i try with trigger event once again i don't want to use this invoke show then okay then let's see it is working so much so i just simply say that okay contains this cy dot get card block let's see it is working or not i didn't try this and uh, let's see the mouse over is happening or not okay see checking it contains card block over there because it's not right now available inside the dom so that's why i see it's it will be failed it's not working it's saying that okay yeah okay we're trying expected to find this particular element but we never found it so either you have to do what you have to mouse over over here on this particular strip so let me check or maybe you guys can try it later and uh, but sometimes we have seen that okay the trigger event was okay it does not work properly so i simply say that okay this is the a and uh, shopping cart okay so let's see this is a shopping cart i move to this particular class okay dot this particular class and trigger a mouse over let's see it is working or not okay see it is also not working over there okay so yeah that's a problem or i'll do one thing let me do one thing dot class name and put a a over here let's move over here so i'll say that okay yeah a and then dot sorry dot first element and then you trigger so let's see no this is also not working so there is no guarantee that in this particular case guys right, this trigger event is not working so in that case you can simply use this step okay so let me just comment it out and uncomment this step so that's why like my motto to show you guys that okay yeah, so it's not very uh, stable feature in cypress in fact if you see there are uh, people they have already raised and there is no uh, uh, direct method is available okay like mount move to element or something like this either you have to use trigger or you have to use some hack like that okay so that's all for this particular video thanks for watching this video guys i'll be coming up with a lot of new good things with respect to cypress and cucumber also we will do that with really good reporting also we will do that cypress with api testing also we will be doing that. so thanks for watching this video keep learning from the automation labs and please click on subscribe button and let me know if you have any issues thank you so much